friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Jessica as recorded by the Allman Brothers on guitar. Now this video is going to be a complete breakdown of that main acoustic guitar part that goes through the entire song. Now we're going to start off with that opening acoustic guitar figure that's a classic and a really great exercise for your strumming. Then we'll move through the entire song covering the walk-ups, the B section, and the key changes that happen later for the guitar solo and then how it comes back all the way through to the end. Before we jump in though, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. If you're new here and have not downloaded my ultimate fretboard guide, you're going to want to grab this at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And all of these shapes that I'm talking about in today's video, like for this song, we're gonna be doing this little move, I call it the Keith Richards move. You'll be able to see these shapes on that page as well. So grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break down the song. Let's break down how to play Jessica as recorded by the Allman Brothers on guitar. Now the tune kicks off with this intro guitar part that's played on acoustic and it's really kind of the driving engine for this song. It's just a one bar pattern to start off. Let me play it for you first and then I'll break it down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This is all based around just two chords. You're doing an A chord here. And I would recommend playing it with one finger. Here I'm playing from the fifth string down, open, then two, two, two. Just getting that with my index there. Now when I play this chord, I mute the high E and I'm actually muting the low E as well with my thumb. But we are gonna play some notes on the low E as well. We're combining a little bit of a riff and the chords together, and that's why this sounds so cool. So we're gonna start with that chord, then we're gonna move to what's called a D over A. And I call this the Keith Richards move, or it's just an ultimate classic rock guitar chord change right here. We're gonna play that A shape, then we're gonna keep that A in the bass, and then underneath that we're gonna play four, two, three. This is a D triad here, but keeping the A in the bass, so that's why it's called a D over A. So I've got an A to a D over A, back to an A, all in the first measure. Now the trick here is the strumming. We're using a lot of a 16th note kind of feel here. So as you go through this, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, you want to be feeling that pulse, one, two, three, four, but then you're cutting up each beat in four parts. That's why I say one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Up to speed, it's like one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. My hand's just going back and forth, down, up. But I'm gonna break this down just beat by beat here to give you a sample pattern. We're gonna start by just hitting the bass note. That's the fifth string open. Then we'll do two strums. We're gonna go down, up on the rest of the chord, so. Then we do this little blues bend. We play the third fret of the low E. Just give it a slight pull and then go up, down, up, back on the A chord. So. That's the first half, so. Bass, down, up, bend, up, down, up. That bend is quick little bluesy bend. And I kind of get off of it, right? So I'm muting back, back to muting with my thumb. Bass, down, up, bend, up, down, up. Okay, one E and a, two E and a. Then we're gonna go three E and a. On beat three, we're gonna change to the next chord, D over A. We'll do four strums, down, up, down, up. Then we'll switch back to the A chord and play up, down, up. But the last up is actually gonna be open strings. 
So it's down, up, down, up, up, down, up, or a three E and a four E and a. And that's it, then it starts again. Okay, up to speed. One, two, three, four. That goes over for the intro. And then of course we have the melody. Come in on top. Now once the melody comes in, we're gonna play that four times. After that, we're gonna play it three more times and then cut the riff short. So it's gonna go. Second time, third time, then here we have a 2-4 bar, we go 2-3-4, now this only happens the first time through in the tune, and there's just these little holds, so you play part of the riff, you're going to go, and instead of going to the D over A, you're just going to hit the A chord and let it ring for four counts, One, two, three, four. then to D over A, One, Two, three, four. There's just those hits there. Then we go back to the melody again and we play this eight times. Again. From there, we go on to the B section. For the B section, we're gonna play. I love this part. So we're gonna bring in a new chord here. We've got a G chord, and you can play any G that's comfortable for you. I like this G5, so I play it without the index finger. I'm going to change the strumming just slightly here. I'm going to go one E and a two E and a. It's going to go down, 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 up, down, up. That's the pattern here. Then we'll go to A. We're just going to alternate G, A, G, A, G, A. We're going to do it three times, then on the fourth time we're going to go G, we're going to go to E. So it's going to go G to A, three times. So second time, third time, then on the fourth time, here we're going to go. And that's just an E chord. We're gonna go down, up, all 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three. We hit three and then rest. Then we're back, you hear the guitars come in. And we're back to. We're gonna do this seven times, okay? So that was three times I just played right there. Let's keep going, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, then we're gonna have this walk up where we're gonna go. Okay, now here you could play it in octaves. I think the easiest way to play it is just the bass note. So that would be five, then two, three, five, seven. That's all on the fifth string. So it starts on low E and then goes to the fifth string. Then the fourth string, four, five, seven. Then the third string, four, five, seven, twelve, nine.
end on that note. Now, rhythmically, they're all on the upbeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then this comes on the beat. One, two, the last one's on the beat. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two. Then we're back to that main figure. Now we play that over for the piano solo and then we have a, another walk up. This one's slightly different, sounds like this. Okay, so this one again, you could play it in octaves, but here we're gonna go five, two, three, five, seven, four, five, seven. So that's basically the same, but then we go. Okay, that's four, five, seven, nine on the third string. Then we go to a new key for the guitar solo where we go. Now here we're basically doing this progression. But now over the four chord, which is almost like a blues, right? You go to the four chord. Here I'm playing D, open, two, three, two, and then to G over D, open, four, three, three. Then we come out of this, we got those lines, and we come back to the B section. We're back to the final A section. We're back to the key of A. Now we jam that over until the very end. We stop on a G. We just let that ring out. And then you end on A. Be sure to take your time with all those parts. Just rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And remember that a lot of this is just in being loose with the wrist and being able to count 16th notes, just that one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So keep going, it takes time, but you got this. And to help you even more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your number one struggle with guitar is right now. Just comment it down below so I can make some future videos here on the channel helping you out. As always, thanks for your support with the videos, and we'll see you in another video real soon.